In the video tutorial for beginners how to use in video. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this service to create cool videos for our YouTube and other social medias for our businesses and so on. So in video is an online editing software which provides us the opportunity to create pro quality video. As you can see, we have a lot of different templates we can use and basically this is pretty simple to use. Uh, they have a lot of different templates for marketing, business video, YouTube, slideshow, outro and so on. And it's pretty good to create like intros, outros, videos, YouTube videos, birthday and as you can see, it's like pretty, pretty easy. So in order to get to this website, we need to visit invideo.io and then just click on sign up in the right top corner. So just click and as you can see, we have like opportunities to continue with Facebook or we can simply create the account right up here. So I'll just click on continue with Facebook or Google, maybe with Google. Yeah, let's be with Google. Yeah, basically uh, when everything is done, we'll continue to go to our home space. I uh, want to answer for some of the questions. So what defines your role best? So let it be like YouTuber or influencer. Continue. The name of our team. We maybe it's 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 even necessary. It's not necessary to change something. We can skip for now. How did you hear about InVideo from YouTube and continue? What is your primary goal in using InVideo to create videos? Make money by creating certain videos. Let it be like. Uh, increase engagement with my posts and content. Let's click on continue. And which platform do you primarily create videos for? Let it be YouTube Shorts or YouTube videos. It doesn't matter basically. So after that, we'll come to this page and what can we find in the left side? We have like our main menu with dashboard, my projects, trash and team members. So on dashboard, we can create video from like different templates. We can like text to video, videos out of long text format. Also like we can use stock media and of course editor just for pro video creation. On the next page we can find my projects here. So it's like library of our projects with drafts and exports. So it's pretty easy to organize them right up here. On the trash of course everything we've deleted and on our team members we have the ability to add some team members to our team. In the right top corner, we have like create a new option from template, text to video, stock media or editor. And there is also like our account page where we can view different like settings, profile, dashboard, my projects, brand present, team settings, subscription plan and purchases. So here you can manage all of your subscriptions if you would like to buy in video pro and other plans. So let's try to create something new. Let's firstly try to use some templates. So just simply go to dashboard and click on templates. I'll just click on it right up here. So as you can see, we have a huge library here. We can scroll down to find something which is suitable as for us. In the left side, we also have like different filters. Uh, let's try to use the landscape spectration and the type, let it be like, uh, you know, sales and offers, maybe. Industry, let it be travel. I like traveling, you know. So after that, we'll like, describe our templates we'd like to use. For example, let it be like maybe this one. Let's try to edit this one. So some of them could be like only for uh, paid versions, but almost all like free. So if you don't have like any icons near them, it means that we can use them for free. Let's try to use, uh, I don't know, let's be like this one. So this is our preview if we'll click on it and it looks pretty good. So we can, for example, provide something we want to share or just create the like, you know, a video advertisement. So I'll just click on use template here and we'll come to our video editor. As you can see in the top of the screen, we have like storyboard, editor and collaborate. We can also change the aspect ratio here. We can share and uh, basically that's all. In the left side, we have our menu with uploads, videos, 
images, music, text, logo, elements, and templates. In the bottom of the screen, uh, we have like our timeline with different sends. We can custom every single send here, and we can also add like elements. So as you can see here, we have like five sends, one, two, three, four, five, and a huge audio for our like uh, video. So from this page, we can simply go to the first send, click on it, and we can customize every single part of this send. So we can just simply click and we'll go to edit page. So in the left side, we can change, for example, text. Let it be like, uh, I don't know, winter. Let's uh, let's write something like this. And here we can write once more is cool. We can change the font size, we can change the style, we can make it bold or do some other stuff. We can also add like animation. Basically all the, all the elements uh, we can deal with is in the right side of this icon. So we can just simply click and it will be showed for, as for us. So for example, this part is like media image right. So it looks like this. Uh, also like text here, text here, uh, and some of the shapes is like here. If you want to add something new, we can simply go to video area, for example, and choose it from here. For example, let's try to add this one maybe to this area. So do we have opportunity? It, it may take a little time to load. And after that, basically, we can simply deal with it. So let's continue to work uh, with another part. On images, we can also like simply add them on our stands here. So as you can see, we successful edit, for example, like here, we can resize it, we can place it somewhere here or somewhere here. So sometimes it could be really, really helpful. We can also move it higher than, for example, different shapes uh, in order to make it like look better or do some other stuff. In the timeline, we can change the duration or also like do something. If you can see, we can also add like voiceover and do some other stuff here. So it's pretty easy. Uh, in the music, we also have like a lot of different music templates. We can use the steps to add are the same, just find the necessary song and then just drag and drop it on our timeline, for example, here. So yeah, it was like successfully added. Yeah, on our timeline as you can see so uh, text area is the same thing we can simply like drag and drop and then just edit it for a little yeah uh, for example like write something here we can like, like hello or some other stuff we can change the position change the like frame size change the font size here change the font make it like in different styles and so on so in order to export, we need to click right up here. And as you can see, uh, we can also only like uh, use images without like stocks. So we need to delete these images. And after that, we're ready to like uh, export or we can just even buy this business or unlimited plan. So in order to use it for 100%, I suggest you to buy some of these plans. So this is about how can we use in video for video editing. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.